Is there still hope for Gone? It's a Thanksgiving Eve edition of the newscast. I'm China Haley. Tom is on assignment. Well, it may not be a done deal after all. Monday's surprise arrest of Carlos Ghosn on allegations of financial misconduct has left the Renault-Nissan alliance in a bind over his future. Nissan is recommending Ghosn's dismissal as chairman, but apparently board members in Japan are divided over whether to dismiss Ghosn. Meantime, the French side of the alliance is balking at firing their longtime leader outright. Nissan's board has scheduled a meeting for tomorrow afternoon in Japan, but people familiar with the matter tell Bloomberg the panel has no unanimous view on whether to dismiss Gone. Reportedly, the split stems from a lack of information about the investigation. For its part, Renault's board has chosen to put interim leaders in power. It has appointed Chief Operating Officer Terry Bolare as Deputy CEO, and the board's highest-ranked independent director, Philippe Lagayette, will chair meetings for the time being. The board says Gone should be presumed innocent until more details become available. The turmoil ripping through the alliance speaks to the linchpin role Gone plays in preserving the peace in the complicated partnership. The 0% auto loan is making a comeback, though it's probably going to last only as long as the holidays. Purchase a brand new Chevy Silverado with 0% APR financing. General Motors, Ford, and Nissan are offering no interest loans this month for as many as six years on some of their most popular vehicles. Those include the Chevrolet Silverado and Ford F-150 pickups and the Nissan Rogue SUV. Black Friday and year-end bargains may help keep sales from slipping and clear out 2018 model year inventory. As we've been reporting, several cities in Germany are preparing to ban older diesel vehicles that emit higher amounts of pollution. But one auto executive says give diesel a fair shake. Continental CEO Elmar Degenhardt is calling for political support for diesel cars. Dagenhart telling journalists in Frankfurt that it's a, quote, tragedy that diesel is dead politically. He says politicians must make it known that the latest generation of diesel is clean. By now, you've likely seen this infamous video of Tesla CEO Elon Musk drinking whiskey and taking a hit of marijuana live on the Internet. Well, his on-air antics may put one of his prized business ventures up in the air. According to the Washington Post, NASA is launching a safety review of Musk's rocket venture, SpaceX. It's also evaluating Boeing. NASA has hired the companies to ferry astronauts to the International Space Station, and it says it wants to evaluate their workplace cultures. But sources tell The Post the review was prompted by Musk's behavior on the Joe Rogan podcast. NASA not commenting on that, but a spokesman tells the paper, NASA wants to ensure the companies are meeting NASA's requirements for workplace safety, including adherence to a drug-free environment. This year at Automobility LA, Volvo is doing something that no car company has ever done in the history of motor shows. And finally today, Volvo Cars has decided to break with auto show tradition next week in Los Angeles. It will not have a single car on its stand, and the company seems pretty okay with that. I think it's first time for us, of course, but I think it's the first time in the business anybody is doing that, so we're very excited about that. In fact, Volvo's LA display will boldly state, this is not a car. The company's decision comes as a growing number of manufacturers are skipping auto shows, reducing their presence, and focusing on other kinds of marketing. Martin Levenstam, Volvo's senior vice president of corporate strategy, says the automaker wants to shift its focus away from what it's been doing for 90 years. Instead of bringing a concept car, we will talk about the concept of a car. Volvo does plan to have a number of interactive demos of connectivity services, such as in-car delivery, car sharing, its vision for autonomous driving, and the car subscription service, Care by Volvo. And that is our time for today. We are taking the rest of the week off for the Thanksgiving holiday here in the States. But be sure to catch us next week. Tom, along with our Jennifer Vong, will have wall-to-wall -wall coverage of the LA Auto Show. 
Enjoy the holiday, and we will see you right back here on Monday.